propane gas gauge lets me immediately know when I'm low on propane so I'm not stuck with half cooked meals on my barbecue. This is a Grillmate propane gas gauge. The cost for this propane gas gauge was only $15 and well worth it. I've tried other methods of determining how much propane was left in a tank, but naturally none worked. This Grillmate propane gas gauge is easy to read. It's got a glow in the dark dial, which is fantastic for those late night grills, or for knowing if you have to go refuel your propane tank in the morning. It is all brass construction and is ideal for barbecue grills and even better for RVs and travel trailers. So before you install this propane gas gauge, be sure your barbecue is cool to the touch, meaning you haven't used it in a while, and that the valve on the propane tank is closed tightly and that all burners are shut off. So let's head out to the grill and get this installed. Okay, so we're out of the barbecue and I'm at the propane. I've made sure everything is shut off in the front, all the burners are shut off, and I've also made sure that the, uh, the valve here is also turned off uh, as tight as possible. So we're going to loosen the regulator, simple enough. Then we're going to uh, take the, uh, and you can kind of see it, you see the gauge, um, and we're going to attach uh, to the regulator first. And it's all hand tightened. I'm going to keep this plastic uh, just in case uh, I decide to move it or change it to another unit or something. Um, and then we just hook back up. Keep this to the side. Okay, so now you can kind of see um, the, uh, the gauge and uh, as soon as we turn this gas on or we turn the lever uh, you'll see that the, uh, let me see if you can get a good idea in here, um, you'll see that the gauge will go up. Let's see if we can get that. So as soon as we turn the gauge on, yep, there we go. So it shows, let's see if we can get in there even better. It shows that uh, I have, I don't know what that would be, a little over three quarters of a tank, if you will. Um, but seems to be working. Uh, and we'll go ahead and shut the grill off. Uh, I'm pretty sure as soon as I turn one of the burners on up front, we'll see if that thing goes back to zero. Okay, so uh, as soon as I turn one of the burners on, uh, it kicked right back to zero. So that's it. Uh, it's a basic quick install, takes a minute, and uh, it'll definitely let me know uh, when I'm low on propane. So there's no more guessing or having to take the propane bottle out and shaking it or weighing it. Uh, but uh, so the propane level indicator, uh, you need to ensure that all burners in the propane tank are turned off and the grill is cool. Uh, when attached, disconnect the regulator from the tank, which we did. Uh, connect the propane level indicator to the tank valve, and then connect the regulator to the propane level indicator, and we hand tightened it. Um, pretty simple to use. Uh, I don't believe there's any leaks here, but later on I'll, I'll test with a little soapy water uh, just to make certain. Um, but that's it. And uh, I think this is a great product um, for the homeowner, but I think it's an even better product for an RV owner or someone with a travel trailer, uh, you can easily just look, um, you know, at your gauge down at the propane tank uh, to see whether or not you need a fill. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to check us out online and uh, click our link below for subscribe. And also check out some of the product we've just got coming in stock for the barbecue season. Cheers.